This video is going to be very important because you're going to finally see how to increase sales by making sure people purchase during their checkout process, which is part of the optimization step of our sales accelerator process. Now, what most frustrated store owners do is just absolutely nothing, which is why they're losing tons of money when people just abandon their carts. But this video will fix all of that so you can go from a frustrated store owner to an impactful store owner. All right, so number one, and this might be the most complex, so we're not just gonna get too much into it, is to target cart abandoners with remarketing. What? Yes. So part of our sales accelerator process actually takes people who visit your car and the checkout and remarket to them. It could be via email. It could be via Facebook ad, Instagram ads, and tell them, hey, you missed something in our cart. Come back and finish your transaction. There's a lot more into that, but we're not going to get to it into this video. Number two is to reduce page load times. You need to look at things like GT metrics or Google page speed, I believe is what it's called. You can run a report and see what areas you can improve on your site speed. A lot of times it's just unnecessary apps that you have that just take forever to load, uh, especially in your cart and checkout process. So you wanna make sure that your cart and checkout process are as smooth as possible um, and just test it from time to time to make sure that things are running smoothly. Number three is to offer a money back guarantee. Um, offering these greatly reduces the potential objections a prospect might have about buying from you. So it just puts ease of mind into the customer. Number four is to be clear about shipping costs up front. Now, some ways to mitigate this is to just offer flat rate shipping or maybe free shipping based on a certain price point, but customers generally want to know what the grand total is going to be. So a lot of times what happens with abandoned shipping carts is that the customer is just putting all the stuff in the cart and then going through your checkout process just to figure out how much is actually going to be. So in order to mitigate this, what you can do is maybe offer, right? That price point up front, maybe through an FAQ page or banners and headers or even the same product page. That way you can let the customer know this is what you're expected to pay and this is how much we charge for shipping. Number five, establish trust in your transaction forms. So ways to do this is like verified by Visa or Google trusted store or VeriSign among other trust badges. Um, these can persuade customers to purchase and feel secure while doing so. Uh, nowadays, if you're using something like Shopify or WooCommerce, Technically, people feel pretty secure about shopping with you. Uh, I would say especially, I feel very secure whenever I see a store and I go through the checkout process and I see that it's Shopify. Typically, I tend to feel pretty secure with that, but you might be using some other form of e-commerce platform and they may allow you to include some badges and trust badges, right? Things like, like I said, verified Visa or Google Trusted Store are things that you have to work towards right with visa or google in order to add those to to your website also mcafee like uh, there might be like one from paypal so all these are good to include uh, once a customer sees those uh, they tend to feel more secure um, and they can probably finish the transaction so that's how you decrease abandoned cards but if your store is not getting the traffic it needs then worrying about abandoned cards is just going to be pointless right so that's why you should schedule a call today so we can show you step by step how to increase traffic and sales on your store and begin to be an impactful store owner.